Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. This is Kimberly Knox. You're in KK's kitchen. Happy Sunday, everyone. Don't you just love yellow? This is my Gemini side. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing something super fun today because comfort foods are where we fall off the wagon. Yet we're all looking to food to feel better, right? We want that dopamine rush. We need a hug. We're looking for chocolate. We're looking for ice cream. We're looking for coffee. We're always trying to produce those happy hormones in the body, but our cells want to do the job for us. Our cells are programmed to heal, to repair, and we have the ability to make really strong new cells that you have optimal energy, but we have to give them the right tools. So just like the master butchers in Germany years ago used the highest quality ingredients in their craft. So it really is about just switching up the ingredients. This is a vegan chocolate um, gelato. I love raw chocolate and I love um, ice cream, but I don't do dairy. It's inflammatory in most people's bodies and it's inflammatory in mine. So what we want is we want a treat that makes us feel good. It's good for ourselves and doesn't weigh us down or make us feel guilty for goodness sakes, right? So I am all about simple. These are eight simple ingredients, just high quality, great for the body. Uh, I am the author of Simple Cooking for Vitality. It's all about just simple, real ingredients, foods that are healing, not filler foods. Also, when you get my book, um, and you get the glossary of healing foods. So one of the uh, ingredients we're using of dates, and you can read about the healing potential of the food. And this was really part of my huge, huge passion. So organic medjool dates, uh, one of the very best natural sweeteners. If you're loading your body with really great vitamins and minerals, potassium, iron, um, phosphorus, uh, you're gonna get, be getting, uh, a natural aphrodisiac, great muscle repair. The liver loves dates, great snack, unless you eat, you know, 10 of them, right? So, um, and not only that, we're using raw cacao. Um, here's, well, this is raw cacao right here. So how's it different than cocoa? It's not processed. So you're also gonna be able to find that here in the book under, I believe it says in the superfood section. Yes, cacao and cacao nibs. So again, loaded with vitamins and minerals. The body recognizes this, the cells recognize this, and it's able to utilize that. And um, very high in fiber. The tryptophan, it's an amino acid that helps produce that uh, happy hormone uh, and relaxation in the body. So um, more and more, but the Healing Foods Glossary uh, all you do is when you get my book, you just sign up, it comes naturally to you. And it's also on the online uh, version as well. So what else do we have here? We have um, organic coconut milk. This is one with no guar gum, right? Just simple filtered water and coconut. We're gonna use the whole can of that. We're gonna use one cup of filtered water and we're going to use raw coconut sugar. We're going to use, there's eight uh, medjool dates. And what I do is, when I buy them, I soak them in water, soften them up a bit. I'm gonna run for the food processor, a little bit of sea salt. I like this Himalayan pink sea salt uh, and a pure vanilla extract. I like the Madagascar vanilla. It's gonna give you the most flavor. And, um, and honestly, that's it. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put everything into the food processor and give it a whirl. So let's just get everything in. I'm going to put the heaviest things on the bottom, the sugar. Now, this is the first time I'm making this. So if it doesn't come out the way we like it, I have sugar on my fingers. <laughs> um, then we're just going to adjust it and I'll adjust the recipe. So There's going to be a half a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm getting good enough to measure it out on my own. Three teaspoons of this um, vanilla extract. That's two, here's a half. So we're adding in deliciousness. You can even put a little bit of uh, coffee in here. So we want this whole can 
of coconut milk. So a lot of a lot of recipes just use water, but this is going to give you again more nutrients, uh, more energy because coconut, coconut cream and coconut milk helps the body convert energy when you're cutting down sugar. Here's the water. And then we're gonna add in a full half cup of the raw cacao. I keep this scooper in there and that's about a quarter of a cup. Okay. So we're gonna put the top on. I'm gonna give it a whirl. You wanna use a high-speed blender. I have a, I have a Nutribullet and I have a Vitamix. They're both, um, Nutribullet is 1600 watts. The other one is 14, I believe. You just want a high-speed one so that dates get really blended up. So let's put this on there. We'll be right back. I don't want you to have to sit through all the noise here. Okay, it's blended for a really good long time, probably at least a minute, but this will stop. You see, it's, it's thick. You just wanna make sure the pieces of the dates are blended down. So this is looking really nice. Now it smells, oh my God, amazing. It's like my chocolate avocado mousse, which is in the book. That is a hug in a jar. That is so satisfying. And I even make it into egg frosting. I think you've heard that before. So I just got this ice cream sorbet gelato maker and uh, you keep this part in the freezer it's been in there a good long time the way back of the freezer so it's nice and cold and um we are going to add this in there we go it is loaded and let's get it plugged in um, Okay, isn't it cute? So, uh, and then basically what you do is you just uh, pour it through the top and this is gonna process. It's gonna have to process for at least 20 minutes, I believe. So we're gonna let that go. We're gonna come back to see how easy that is. So I hope this comes out amazing. <laughs> and uh, I bet it's gonna just taste fantastic. So we're back. Uh, it is almost done. So we're almost at 20 minutes. It's delicious. I am making dinner while this is finishing. So just stay tuned. I know. So we're all dying to see this final. This is amazing. I'm going to put it in a different container, but uh, I just want you to see how delicious this is. Now you can't taste it, but I'm tasting it for you. It's actually a little too sweet for me, mm. which, so I'm just gonna add more uh, of, the, of the raw cacao, but uh, I could also reduce some of the organic coconut sugar. So I will play with this, but this is how easy it is. You do not have to be a chef. All you just blend it up, pour it in there. And my next creation will be the blackberry Cabernet Sorbet. Mm. So delicious, so easy, all clean, great, high energy ingredients and super duper easy. So I hope you enjoyed that.